six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here today. We're out today with a Kubota BV4160 round baler. We're going to give you a quick walk around on this machine, tell you a little bit of its heritage, where it came from, and some of the features and functions. And joining me in doing that is Anthony Rhodes here, my local Kubota Hay Tools rep. So if you know anything about Kubota's Hay Tools line, you would know that most of the pieces of Kubota Hay equipment have their heritage in Coverland or Vicon equipment. Uh, back in 2012, Kubota purchased the Coverland Group, which we primarily knew here in the U.S. as Vicon. Uh, those pieces were sold as Vicon and also under a whole bunch of different manufacturers, painted different colors, but Kubota is now the owner of that company, the owner of all that technology and assets. So hay rakes, tethers, disc mowers, those kinds of things, you would see a lot of commonality with Vicon equipment. However, the baler is different, right? Correct, correct. 2011, uh, Coverland started building this baler and selling it into, the, into uh, Europe and all over the world. Um, and 2015 is the first year we brought it here to the U.S. for retail sale. So we made a, a couple minor changes uh, to what was wh what they were selling at the time, but for the most part, uh, we, we brought it as is. Um, it is a it is it is designed to do silage. Um, obviously designed in a European market. Um, so so it's it's a heavy built baler um, from the ground up. Uh, to put it into all kinds of different applications. So this is a BV4160, which is a 4x5? Four 4x5. Five? Four five. Uh, technically, it'll actually go up to 5 foot 5 inches in okay. capacity. And the other models are? We've got 4x6 balers. We've got, uh, actually, just this year, just launched a 5x6 baler as well, which okay. they designed specifically for our U.S. market. Cool. So am I right that the silage special baler, where a lot of other companies take a standard baler and beef it up to make a silage special model, Kubota hasn't done that, right? Correct. So for, for the most part, uh, this baler is, is pretty much what they would have sold into Europe. Um, when we first launched the balers, we actually despect a few things. We took a solid scraper kit out of it, a couple other things uh, to be able to, to compete uh, with the dry hay balers here in the U.S. Um, but this one, this brand is Silage Special. It's, it's, um, it's heavy from the ground up. It's, it's made to do silage. So we can take a dry hay baler and add scraper rolls to it and essentially have the same thing as the silage special model. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So we're gonna work our way around the baler here and we'll start going from front to back. Um, the pickup is obviously kind of the working bit of this. What can we, what can you tell us about the pickup? Okay, the first thing you're gonna see here on the outside, the thing I really like, the adjustment on the gauge wheel is very, very simple. Totally toolish, pull this pin, lift this down here, slide it out, pop it back in and you're good to go. So really nice design on that. Uh, one thing we did when we came to the U.S. market, uh, we, we tried to spec out the balers to compete directly with what the major competitors would do um, straight off the get-go. So we went ahead and we put a 79-inch pickup on here as standard equipment. We put um, a hydraulic lift on here as standard equipment. So you, you got to make sure if you're comparing this baler to, to the other colors out there, uh, make sure you're comparing apples to apples because we, we tried to put the premium features on here that you'd expect um, on, on all of our machines. You notice it is a four time bar pickup um, on, on this machine. Uh, we couple that with a feeder fork intake system. You'll notice the, the, the pickup is a little bit more lower profile than a lot of the competitors. It does spin a, a good bit faster. So it takes a little bit smaller uh, bite each time of that hay, but it does a really, really good job of starting that crop, you know, starting that bale, feeding it into the bale. Um, I think you'll be really impressed with the performance of the, the pickup and the, the whole intake system on this machine. So one thing I've heard from other customers when we flip the hood up before uh, is that this looks complicated. Is there a lot going on here? I mean, what does all this stuff do? Uh, point number one, I think, uh, you know, is we're standing in the shade, number one. So what we've done is we've taken this whole shield, we've got it out of the way. We don't have to take off a whole lot of other shields to get to the inner workings of the machine. So you pop the shield on this side, you pop the shield on the left side, and you can pretty much see everything that's going on to diagnose a problem, uh, to make your adjustments. Uh, I was speaking with one of your service reps this morning, and he was, he was really uh, really impressed with how simple really when you dig into it it really is from a mechanical point of view. One thing you'll notice everything about this baler it's very very heavy heavy sprockets uh, we use an 80 heavy chain 80 H chain on these machines. Um, another thing that's really nice put all of our electronic control in this box it's on the baler so if for some reason the the monitor or something goes out or you need to, to um, switch it from one tractor to to another baler or something or another um, everything is stored on this baler on in this box. Okay, so one, one thing uh, that, that some people notice, you know, we've got some sensors on this baler. You get a sensor here, you get a potentiometer here. Um, this is your bale growth potentiometer. We've got one in the back of the tailgate, which helps us actually measure the, the size of the bale right to left. 
Um, it's a really, really um, accurate way to, to build a nice square bale um, on the sides. Uh, we've got another potentiometer that helps our net rep system know where it's at. Um, the nice thing is they're all interchangeable. So we've got three potentiometers, they're all interchangeable. We've got different sensors on the balers. Uh, there's only two different sizes of sensors. So when it really comes down to it, you know, you've got a couple parts or access to a couple parts. It's, it's not really that, not that big of a deal. Notice the bale ramp here, standard equipment as well on, on all of our balers. Okay, so what does make this a silage special baler over a regular 4160 premium? Uh, one of the things, uh, like I said, this would have been standard equipment in Europe um, until we added here in the US um, on the silage special baler. We have a driven scraper. So this shaft here has four different ribs on it. You set it at approximately three millimeters away from your roll that's driving your belts. And that helps keep that crop from wrapping around uh, your rollers. You've got a second one down here in the tailgate. You can't see it very well, but it's the same, same principle. The other thing we put on our silage special balers is this proportional valve here. It's electric over hydraulic proportional valve. This allows us from the cab of the tractor on our monitor to control the size and the density of the core, mid-range, and outer range. So depending on the crop, um, moisture level, different, you know, different crops, et cetera, we could set you know, a, a soft core. Uh, we can make it tight as, as we go out. We can, you, know, you can max that all the way if you want to, but it gives us a lot of flexibility and especially adjustability from the, cabs, uh, from the seat of the cab. Okay, we talk about our net wrap system. The first thing I like to point out here, storage for our rolls and net wrap, you got storage for two rolls right on the side of the baler. Nice, low, easy to get to. Uh, storage is right there. We use a front load net wrap system here. Um, this steel bar you see here in the front is our net brake. It is the full length of that roll of net um, to apply nice pressure. Uh, this, this steel bar should last the life of the baler. Uh, it's, it's not something we're gonna have to maintain um, every year or anything like that. Okay, so to load the net wrap, very, very simple. You get in your tractor, push the unlock button, which unlocks the screen. This button you see right here, this is your net brake release. Push this button right here, see that blinks. When you push that button, it activates this electric motor, lifts this net brake out of the way. So you can load your new roll of net wrap. Okay, so how do we build our bale? We use a floor roller here. This does the majority of the turning of our bale. Uh, use these other two rollers in the front here. Um, in combination with five wide belts. So we use five belts that are a little bit more wide than the majority of the competitors. Um, we also use a Mato lacing, it's a German lace, um, in our belts on this baler. Um, the, the 5160 baler, the, our, our cutter baler, does have endless belts. Uh, but this, this setup's worked very well um, the, last, the last three years. So if we can help you with any of our equipment needs, give us a call here at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.